Hey, it's Ken Gaddy with YouTube channel GameBits, continuing my let's play of Super Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Wii U. Minus the Super, it's just Mario Kart 8. I am about to race with, <clears throat> excuse me, the land ship? No. Maybe? I'm not sure. I recently unlocked the... This thing, with the horses, the Prancer, and I kind of liked it, actually, surprisingly. It's got more speed than the land ship, so I'm going to stick with that even if the acceleration is nothing to write home about. And sure, let's go with the Flying Squirrel, why not? Now, I have just finished Special Cup, Star, Flower, and Mushroom, so now I'm moving on to these four Retro Cups, starting with the Shell Cup. And I need to get myself a gold. I need to come in first, or else this video doesn't get uploaded. Also, sorry, sorry about the audio in my last video. It turned out I was using my laptop's internal mic, even though I had set it to use my USB headset. I got it right this time. So I have never played this cup before, but I suspect that over the course of various online tournaments and battles, and having played other Mario Kart games, like for the Wii, I have encountered the courses and I have some familiarity with them, even if not in the Grand Prix context. Mario Kart 8, first race, lack of two. Hey, that was a pretty good boost. We've been having some trouble with that lately. Item! Now, I don't remember this level having a lot of anti-gravity opportunities. Actually, none of the previous Mario Kart games have had that functionality built in to them. So, I wonder if we will be anti-gravity at all in this entire cup, or series of cups. Oh, where'd that red shell go? Nobody near behind me. Who's in first? Is that Daisy? Oh. Ten coins gives you the highest maximum speed! <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that was Lemmy who was ahead of me. That looks like he was in the land ship. Is that right? Whoa, Bowser out of nowhere. But I pull ahead into first. Got myself some coins. Ten max. Did the boost. Avoid the banana peel that I myself laid down for future Luigi to hit. How dare us die. Whoa, chickens! Hope they're not Zelda chickens. If, I, if they are, they're going to come back and get me later on in this race. Ugh! Dang it. So many cows. Can't tip them all. Whoa! Oh, coins. Maximum coins. A good item will help me get back in the first. Whoops, that's not a good item. Or at least I didn't use it well. These jumps are helping. Whoops. Dang! No, 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 no. Crap. Oh, well. Still, it looks like Lemmy is the person to beat in this cup. Every cup has a different main antagonist, or at least every race has one. So, if Lemmy came in third, and he's going to be the one vying for first with me in the future cups, then I think we're doing okay. Oh, look at that. You could actually see part of the course lifting up. Now, I did play the Game Boy Advance Mario Kart. It's the only handheld Mario Kart I have played. I didn't play it for DS or 3DS. But this was so long ago. I think it may be one of the few Game Boy Advance games I reviewed back when I was reviewing games, which was 97 to 03. Reviewed about 300 games in those days. A, a different game every week for six years. That was a good stint. Whoops. Well, that's a no-brainer. Oh! How dare he have a defense against my red shell. Whoa, green shell. So that anti-gravity section is pretty minimal. Whoa. Ah, I drafted. I keep forgetting you can do that. The opportunity so rarely presents itself. usually don't want to be too close to other people because they have items. Whoa, now he's drafting me. Jerk! Squid! If I had a PD Piranha Plant, it would have eaten the squid. Ah! 
Jerk. I need coins. Oh, crap. Banana peel. Ah. Uh. Bye bye. Oh, that's interesting. Doesn't usually behoove me to throw that item straight ahead, because I'm usually the one who ends up getting hit by it. So again, here we have Mario and Lemmy as the ones to beat. There is an item in the uh, pit along the right side of the finish line, which I've forgotten to get the last two laps. Oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh, I hoped if I could spark, maybe I could outrun it. Huh. I don't think there are any more opportunities for items. Except for the one in the pit right there. Ah, oh, phooey. So forget Lemmy, it's Mario I gotta beat. He's now six points ahead of me. If I come in first on the next two races, then I can close that gap. And I'll at least tie for first. Which is good enough to get me a gold. Cheap, cheap beach. Now again, this is for the DS, so I never played this. I've raced it on Mario Kart 8. But it's not one of my strengths. So we'll see. Ah, no boost. The enemies seemed... Uh, th I mean, the enemy racer, the computer-controlled racer, seemed better at getting boost when I was doing the special cup in my last video. I wonder if the special denotes not only the difficulty of the tracks, but the difficulty of the racers. Points. Points. Point. Coin. Okay, you get the idea. I'll stop that now. Sorry. Oh. Ah! Sounds like I hit somebody. Alright, maximum. I haven't noticed any shortcuts here, have you? Ah, that comes in handy. Oh! He had something. Oh! <laughs> I was trying to avoid being in first once I saw there was a blue shell coming. I wonder who would actually hit in the end. Man, those guys went underwater. How did they go so fast? No! No, 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 no! Good thing we saw another whole lap. Oh, that was a bad spot to use a mushroom. Oh, bummer. I've seriously fallen behind. Well, that was a good shortcut. I wonder if it was only good because I had a mushroom. Still getting all these coins, even though I have the maximum of 10, because I'm hoping that they won't regenerate in time for somebody else to pick them up. Oh! Sharp turn. Hmm. Well, I said if I came in first, I would start closing the gap. Mario came in fifth! That is amazing for me! So not only, I thought I'd still be a couple points behind him, and I'd need the last race to move into first, but now I'm actually ahead of Mario. This is great. So this likely means that as long as I can come ahead of Mario, or come in a higher position than Mario on this cup, on this track, even if it's not first place, I will get the gold. 
Now, I have played this level before. I actually imported the N64 version of Mario Kart 64. I mean the Japanese version, because I couldn't wait for it to come out domestically. It came with a special controller. It was actually a uh, half black, half gray. So the case was two different N64 controllers melded together. People thought it was a handcrafted job that I had done. I'm like, nope. It came with the import. And I modified my N64 to play imported games. Just required a special kind of screwdriver. I believe it's actually called a game bit, coincidentally, for uh, my YouTube channel. In fact, if you go on eBay and you search for my name, Game Bits, what you find, whoops, is that screwdriver to open up the N64. Um, but m the name of this channel is actually derived from a newspaper column I wrote that I named called Game Bits, and that debuted in. When was that? April of 97 or so. So I guess the N64 was already out by then, but I didn't know that's what the screwdriver was called. I wouldn't name myself after a screwdriver. That's kind of silly. No, there actually is a different origin story to the name Game Bits. There actually is a story. Uh, but I will share that another time. So please subscribe to YouTube channel Game Bits if you want to hear the full story. Holy cow, I didn't expect to be flying. Wow, I'm just smoking the competition, aren't I? Uh-oh. Can I outrace uh, a red shell? Nope. And somebody... Oh! Okay, there's still another lap, though, so I can beat Toad. Wait, isn't this Toad's Highway? Isn't that the name of this level? Is it fair that he's in first? Is that, like, the home advantage? Do the cars know to avoid him? Guys, watch out for Mr. Toad. We don't want our licenses revoked. We're only on this highway by his permission. Huh? <laughs> oh, I could have hit the ramp on the top of that truck. That would have been neat. This was definitely not possible in the N64 original. This level is a lot easier and a lot funner than it used to be. Ooh, can I get an item and go up on the wall? Yes. Isn't even that difficult. Awesome! So there you, there you go, a goal on my first attempt on this cup. I think that was the Shell Cup. Wow, I'm just cranking out the videos, aren't I? Of levels that everybody else beat weeks ago. <laughs> oh, I wish it was summer vacation, and it is from one of my jobs. I do teach at Emerson College in Boston, but that is only one of my many jobs, being on the adjunct faculty. I only get the summer off from that job, not from everything else. Hey, you can use the uh, joystick to c move the trophy around. I have unlocked the banana cup. I've unlocked a new character. And I got a new vehicle customization option. Oh my gosh. There's not much rotation possible here. But hey. All right, let's see who the new character is, who the new option is, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll start working on another video for the banana. I've unlocked Martin. Martin. And the new vehicle customization option is Cyber Slick Tires. Okay. And that gives you uh, stuff. Great. Well, thanks for watching this Let's Play of Mario Kart 8 on YouTube channel GameBits. Please subscribe for more karting.